happy mystic saying hi to well we're so excited about the upcoming workshop in february that's really more of a journey it's a shamanic journey to the pyramids of teotihuacan the last time i was there with my beloved brad we had an amazing journey walking just into the site itself to see one of the largest pyramids in the world in fact the Pyramid of the Sun is the third largest pyramid in the entire world. It's amazing. One of our group there was graduating with his shamanic minister's ordination from our Venus Rising programs. And so we got to celebrate him and he got to be ordained on the top of the Pyramid of the Sun. And probably my favorite is the Pyramid of the Moon. And it's more the energies of the deep feminine. And up there we did a, a quiet time for each one of us to go into our own dreaming, active dreaming, and to spend some time there finding out what our dream is versus the rest of the world's dream about who we're supposed to be. That was really potent and powerful. And then we circled up as the sun was getting ready to go down and went more into that inner feminine place. And I feel like that's where I got my deepest messages is there. There's also the Pyramid of Quetzalcoatl, or the Plumed Serpent. And of course, walking in on the Avenue of the Dead is powerful in and of itself. And just cued on time, here's Mr. Anubis himself, um, my older guy, who's also a shamanic wolf boy, and uh, with Anubis walking through the Avenue of the Dead. That's a little synchronistic there. but. That's the place that we go in from the beginning saying, well, what is it that I'm ready to change? I'm ready to let it die. And there's many other things that we do there, but each one in itself is so powerful and so potent. And then of course we go back to Dreaming House, which is this beautiful place. It's, it feels like home. And for those of you who ever came to Isis Cove when Brad and I were here together running Isis Cove and you experienced the magic of being in Isis Cove and you felt like you never wanted to leave, like it was home, that's the way it ends up feeling at Dreaming House. The family that runs it there and that prepares our food, they truly become our family. So we have that experience too instead of being in, although it's nice to be in resort hotels and things like this, this is a different um, situation. So if we have our own privacy, our own rooms, and we can certainly find places where we can vision quest on our own. But then we come together as a community to dine and these lovely people take care of us and take care of our every need. We're really appreciative of that. And they're artisans too and make beautiful sacred objects. Last time I had um, the owner there basically create me a beautiful obsidian blade. It's like this big. Um, it's golden too. It's golden obsidian to do my cord cuttings and to do um, extractions and soul returns and I've used it in many many ceremonies so there's really too much to go into right now you just have to come and experience it for yourself the price is right it's 1400 for our trip for our journey there of course you still have your own flights to get there but Dreamy House will pick us up at the airport and that's included uh, unless you come at a different time and your food and lodging and all the teachings are included. What an amazing way to get away during the winter and to go deeply into yourself with a group of kindred spirits and shamanic souls. So hope to see you there. We've got people signing up every day right now. The trip's definitely a go at this point. We have room for several more and we hope you'll enjoy us.